Yo, we are the Crane Couple and we are back in Las Vegas, Nevada for a little review, a walkthrough and food review of the biggest and baddest buffet in the Vegas Strip. Yes. Bacchanal at is, Caesars Palace. It is the largest buffet it's big. in Las Vegas. It's not cheap to get in here. It is like 80 bucks per person, but this buffet claims to be the king of all buffets. We got lots of great food. We got a lot of things. So we're going to start off with a little walkthrough of the buffet line. Yep. We'll also have desserts at the end. We're going to have a lot of stuff. We got 90 there's, minutes to cover this. There's going to be a lot of food. Oh man. Join us. Let's go. We're going to start here at the far end. This is the Asian section, I think. Yes. And we've got a lot of food. We got some chashu. The Chinese style barbecue pork, yep. duck roast, beef broccoli, fried rice, Szechuan fish, Kung Pao chicken, Gai Long, ginger clams, crab rangu, sesame rice balls, and vegetable spring rolls. Nice. Oh my goodness. Some condiments. Oh, there's a lot of, lot of sauces. Hey, yeah, you got all the steamers right yeah. here. We've got, uh, yeah, we got bao. We're gonna pop that open real quick, Whitney. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty good. Yeah. That does look pretty good. Oh my gosh. These, oh, oh no, kidding. there's a shumai in there. That's not going in the video. Oh, there oh. we go. Wagyu hot dogs. Wagyu freshly hot made dogs. just for us. That looks pretty good, right? Mmm. Yo, those are kind of cool. But we have even more. There's some Korean <laughs> glass noodles, Japje. Some kalbi, those are beef short ribs. Those are good. Some banchan, all these little assorted sides. Like if you've ever had Korean barbecue, you might recognize some of yes, that stuff. Yeah, would. Korean chicken wings with gochujang sauce and some kimchi fried rice. Nice. Straight up steamed jasmine rice. That is a giant rice cooker. But yeah, if you just want straight up white rice, why not? Some peppers, edamame. Edamame, a couple ways actually. Yeah, spicy cool. and chilled. And then over here we have poke. Lots, lots of poke. We have like tuna, taco, salmon, rainbow. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that look good? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Wow. And got we have rolls. lots of sushi rolls right here. Yeah. Salmon, lots of rice balls. There's some shrimp, some California rolls with yellow tail. Oh. Gosh. And then we also have pork skewers. Oh my oh. gosh. Brittany, you guys need to get some of those. We have Vietnamese sea snails. Yeah, what? got them right there. Oh, he's adding them in. That's, that's really cool. Oh. Dang, man. That's fancy, huh? I don't know about that one. It's a roasted pig. Suckling pig. It's really cool. There's oh, also man. a soup station right here. You can get like pho and ramen, ramen and things like that. Uh, miso soup is also an option. Uh, yes. There's like a bunch of different ones. Heck yeah. And then you can add toppings to it. So good. All these toppings right here and more. There's some salad. It's nice. Interestingly enough, there's stuff like deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. eggs. There is a burrata right here. Tomato and basil tartare and coconut carrot gazpacho. Gazpacho. What? And the, the I guess technically the worst section of a buffet, <laughs> the carb section. Yes, if you want to fill up way too fast, we have bread. Yo, I'll get a breadstick though. Our charcuterie section. Yes, salamis. Oh, we got falafel, labna. Ah. That's fun looking. We got oh. hummus, beet hummus. That's nice. For those that prefer more vegetarian options, we have those. Yeah. Dang. They're nice. They're like cute little plates too. It's really cute. I like the small serving so that way you can kind of taste some of this stuff and not really have to worry about yeah. getting full off of it. We got a couple more salads, salads here. Some cold salads, caprice and antipasto salads. And the pizza. This is a barbecue chicken. Pizza. Some pepperoni. Looks like some kind of veggie one. There's a sausage. Or something. There's a sausage oh, one. Margarita. As well as some meatballs. Meatballs and some sauce. Ooh. And some cool little breadsticks. Fresh to order pasta. Seafood linguine, tortellini with vodka sauce, farfel and sausage, bolognese, and a lot more, oh, honestly. What? Even more things in the Italian section. The petite pork shank. It's really cute little guys right here. We got 
shakshuka, which is tomato sauce and egg. Egg. I've yeah. never had it it's before. It's a bread. It looks like bread on top to me. <laughs> Italian wedding soup. We got some white fish, some polenta, and some chicken pitas. Nice. Yum. Okay. Salsa and chicharrones. Some chips. Guacamole and chips. All those things. Oh my god, you can get some agua fresca. Yep. Oh my gosh. No little churros. Tiny churros. Really cute. And some, some nice tacos. tacos. Small sizes of Cuban sandwiches. Oh. Chicken enchiladas are like Ew, super tiny. Enchiladas. They're like thumb size. They're so cute. <laughs> Plantains. Yo, duck carnitas quesadilla. Hell yeah. Mm, that's cool. And there's also a street taco section here, so you can oh. ask for tacos of your choice. There's more chicken. Delicious. Some beans. Ooh. And potatoes. Rice. You gotta have the rice. I love me some Spanish Hello. rice. You got some rice peel off with mushrooms, sweet potatoes, lentils. Real fun looking. I got some meat. We got turkey. Yeah, as well as one of the Barbecue meat stations. Duck wings. Real fancy. Giant turkey. Truffle roast chicken. That's a cool looking Ooh. chicken. Look at that. It's real fancy, right? Some Nashville hot conpachi collar. I don't know what that means. I don't know. It looks like fish. Yeah, but it also the bone, bone marrow and some lamb T-bone. Oh my goodness, you see that? Ooh! As well as one of the carving stations. Hey, Good. we're doing awesome, thank you. Oh yeah, glazed pork and ham. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Oh my god, look at that steam coming off of oh. all this. Okay, got some kielbasa. We got a little Simpler taste yeah. right here, kielbasa, yep. chicken wings. Crispy chicken wings. If you're weird, you can get some creamed kale. <laughs> no, you guys aren't weird, right? No, no the way. There's also some potatoes. They got some truffled mash. I wonder oh. if Brittany would enjoy some lobster, lobster mash. Lobster, Listen, it's still mac, Brittany. You take what you can get, all right? Mm, it, I don't it, know. So, quote unquote, eat your greens, chef. You you can't make me do anything, okay, guys. But yeah, if you really wanted to, there's asparagus, peas, and edamame and other things. There's corn of the cod. Oh, oh, there is corn. Some chicken and okay. chili. That Yo, looks fun. barbecue train wreck fries. I so. like the idea of that. I might come Sounds back for good. some. Good. And then spoon bread. Spoon bread. It's cheddar corn and jalapeno in a cute little pan. Yeah. And then there's a long line for the everything else there do be a line for the crab legs so we'll have to come back for crab legs <laughs> yes please please and thank you Brittany. oh the chashu you can grab a little bit of that shrimp over there in the back look i love shrimp i do indeed how many shrimps do you want um just like two maybe it's good if you can grab a piece of the duck too in the back i know it's kind of far back this there one? but yeah i'm getting a pork bun okay well, the last one, how do I The Wagyu this? hot dog, because why the heck not? Oh, I did it. Nice. You have to finesse it. You, you did awesome, Brittany. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me know if you need me to hold something. That's fine. Okay, cool. You want any of these guys? Uh, I mean, short ribs I might be good. I short rib. Looks nice. Well, that's a big piece. Since we're in this section, I might take a piece of like sushi or two. You want one? Mm. Which one? Uh, the volcano, volcano roll. roll. I love me some volcano rolls. All right. Uh, I two have, pieces. Okay, cool, because I have two right here. Fantastic. Boom. Thank you, Brittany. Look at that. One piece? Yeah, just What's like one piece. E this one? Yeah, that one's fine. Thank you. I'm going to oh, get this yes. crispy piece right here. You want to get a piece for yourself? Yeah. Heck yeah. Go I for am. It. I told you guys I was going to get a breadstick. <laughs> you have to get one breadstick. So I'm getting one breadstick. Oh, wait, cheese. Some smoked gouda. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What do you feel yeah, like? You want to have a little let's Italian get a piece stuff? Of pizza. With some barbecue chicken pizza? No, no, no. Pepperoni. Oh, you want a pepperoni? Okay. Buffet yeah, pizza review one. time. There we go. Oh. Nice. All right. Do you want anything else? Uh, I'm pretty good on mine. I think that's a good amount of stuff okay. right there. Let's try it. I don't want to overload it and then it's going to be all cold, you know? Yeah. I want to give everything a fair shake. We got our first plates here at Bacchanal Buffet at Caesar's Palace. Yeah. Brittany, what do you have right here? I have cheese. You ha you do have cheese. <laughs> you got some cheese and some breadstick and other cheese, things. I got cheese, I got breadstick, I got pizza, I got meat. 
A lot of meat. I Actually, got buns. different types of cheese. Yeah. I think I have less cheese and less breadstick than you. That's pretty sad. Uh, I, I have quite a few different you things. You have more bread than me, though. That's a lot of bread. Look, the Wagyu hot dog sounds <laughs> interesting, okay? It's different. Feel free to dig on cheese. in. Cheese. That was the cheese, bro. Tastes like cheese. I love me some smoked Gouda. <laughs> Hard to go wrong with the Gouda. All right, breadstick. This is a nice breadstick. Think so? Mm-hmm. Nice and crisp. It's crunchy. It's got a lot of like herbs and seasoning on the inside. It looks like it does. It's a good little snack. It's try buffet pizza. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad? It's pizza. There's a good amount of cheese. It's pretty good. I have, um, oh my gosh, there's sauce all over the skewer. <laughs> It's like a pork skewer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a pork skewer. Mm. It's a little tougher. It, it's almost kind of jerky like. <laughs> but um, the seasoning and the like sauce that they like slather it in, it's actually really good. It's like a slight hint of sweetness. I mean, that bite right there seems like it's a little tougher than your average. That was kind of hard to bite into. I think I broke the stick. <laughs> I was gonna say it was bending a little bit. <laughs> Not too bad. Not bad though. Mm. I bet, and maybe because you know, it was one off the top, so maybe that was one of the ones kind of sitting for a little bit. Um, we have the short rib right here. Ooh, call me. There's the the bone. <laughs> Again, the flavor is pretty good, but at least this piece is the opposite of that skewer. Really? It's very chewy. I was gonna say, it looked like you had a kind of it hard was, time getting through it. It was a hard it, time to actually bite into it. Mm. Yeah, it's very chewy. It's chewy. I don't Not know if it's, I don't one. think it's tender, but. Brittany's a little picky about her texture. Yeah. How was it taste-wise? The taste-wise, like the flavoring on the meat is really good. Mm. So like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going back and finding like a different piece. But not that one, no way. Short rib does tend to be kind of on the chewier side. Oh, it's very, you saw how hard it was to bite it into it. It did seem a little tough for you to get through. Yeah. Brittany has very healthy gums, so the, don't worry about that part. <laughs> and I have the lechon. Yeah, that's a big chunk of lechon. Good bite, pretty good. The, the meat like come, like kind of coming apart right there looked yeah. really nice. Looks like it was roasted what, really well. That's what you want to see. And then I have this barbecue pork bun. It's almost pizza-like in the inside. I was gonna say the filling looks kind of funny. It almost looks like a little <laughs> bit of like pizza sauce, sauce and some like sausage bits. It's a light flavor. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. I feel like normally like those bow are kind thank of. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a little bit of like a stronger, saltier flavor. I'm gonna try a bit. I'll try a little bit. You'll know what I mean. That's what you mean. I think it tastes pretty good though. It's good. Mm. It's lighter. The uh, outside bun is pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I kind of wish I had gotten one for myself too. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for your plate. Yep. I'll dig into my side here. Uh, I know we got things like the shrimp kind of early on, so I'll try to get into there before it's too late. The shrimp is good. Fairly strong flavor for really? a buffet shrimp. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my guilty pleasures is the honey walnut shrimp at Panda Express. So it says it has that same mouthfeel, but it's a little more potent on the flavor. The bang bang shrimp, so it's got a little bit of like punch behind it. Right here, we've got the duck, some roasted duck. It's a nice piece. That's a nice piece of duck, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like duck is sometimes kind of dry, but not here. No. There's a nice crispy skin on the outside. It's pretty tender, not not overly tender. It's not like, you know, like a falling apart brisket or anything. Yeah. So here we have the char siu. Oh my gosh. How do I even get into this? It's just like a whole like rib. You have to use your hands. Uh, okay. I'm normally the camera guy right here. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my hands really good after yeah. all this. Oh, okay, a third bite. 
Did I just triple bite that? You just triple bite. You triple okay. bit that? I will say it's not as strong of a flavor as I thought it would be. But it's a good flavor for me at least. It's really tender. Brittany, would you like to have a bite yeah, of I'll this? Yeah, I'll take a bite. Please feel free. Oh, that it, is really tender. It just comes right off the bone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop into the volcano roll. Do it. <laughs> Brittany gave me two. Looks pretty good. I think they actually just refilled this recently. Yeah, there wasn't anyone we like first walked through. No. But it looks like a good amount of like imitation crab filling, a little bit of salmon on top. First off, I normally wouldn't bother with buffet sushi. Because it's buffet sushi. Buffet sushi. You don't think buffet and sushi in the same sentence there, but I'm a sucker for volcano rolls. I love this like spicy mayo sauce they put on there. It actually was pretty good. Okay. Um, I think if anything, the rice on the sushi roll was like slightly mushy, but not so bad. I've had worse. I'll also have the lechon. Mm. That's some good roasted pork right there. <laughs> this is a good piece of lechon right here. Okay. I like that. That's pretty good. This is a pretty good rendition of it. It's not something you see often at a buffet. No. No, not, not, not at all. You don't see it at all. But the flavor is good. It's got a good amount of seasoning without being overly salty, which I think sometimes happens with pork. I can see that. Last thing to bite into. The hot dog. Wagyu hot dog. I don't know. It, it, it's a Wagyu beef hot Very dog. Very interesting. A little like seaweed bits in here and stuff. I, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that on like a piece of like toast, like <laughs> yeah, a thick like piece of like Texas toast. I didn't have. It's a hot dog? Honestly, it's a hot dog. Oh. But if you, if you just gave me this and like a Costco hot dog, I wouldn't be, like, be like, I don't know. Like I wouldn't be able to place like why this is a Wagyu hot dog. It's not bad. Okay. It's not like amazing either. More food. Yeah. Hi. Can I get some brisket, please? Uh, can I also get some of the beef steamship? Whoa. Wow. I sprinkled all that Thank salt you. on there. What do you want? Uh, I'll take the prime rib. Uh, can we get prime rib too? Prime rib? Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's a big piece of prime rib. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. We got a lot of great things here. I will try it. You, oh, you're going to try that lobster mac and cheese? Yeah, because I want mac and cheese. <laughs> you're not a lobster person like at no. all, Brittany. But I appreciate your bravery in these trying times. Mmm, interesting. Man, this place already full. <laughs> I know, right? You want to get like anything else right here? Ah, uh, this might be good. Okay. Round two is here. We hit up the carving stations. Yes. I got some fun little foods. Brittany, what do you have on your plate? I have mashed potatoes, lobster mac and cheese, brisket, and beef steamship. And I have prime rib, a lot of people's favorite, as well as some sort of weird fry concoction. Some, some sort of Texas fries. You want to hop into yours first, Brittany? All right. Please. We're going to start with the lobster mac. For for context, I'm not a lobster person, but I wanted mac and cheese. It's the only mac they had. You know? Oh. It's pretty good. You don't taste a lot of the lobster. Really? I, I tried to scoop out some mac that didn't have a ton of lobster in it anyways. I will say, it doesn't really look like it has a lot of lobster bits. It's almost like more of like a lobster essence in there. Yeah, like, uh. well, if you taste it, you could taste the cheese, but I guess you could kind of taste a little bit of the lobster. The shells are totally fine. Cooked. Cheese seems fine. That looks good to me. It's just lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. I will say, off the bat, these are some like, Oh, yeah, a little runny, huh? They're kind of runny mashed potato. It, it actually kind of almost looks like ranch dressing. 
Hold on, let me try that again. I think I was tasting the lobster mac on my fork. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. So it's definitely just more creamy. That's why its texture is so like ah. liquidy. No lumps in there as far as I can tell. Well, you see, when I was scooping it, I saw a bunch of lumps, but I haven't tasted any. It's actually not bad. It's like comfort. Flavors it's on comfort. point? Yeah. There are supposed to be truffle mash. How do you feel like about the truffle flavor? Do you, oh yeah, do you I definitely taste that? truffle. Mm. That's not awesome bad. though. Yeah. I guess it could, it could use a little bit more salt, but that's it. Brisket. That's a big piece of brisket that lot. the guy gave I don't, you I too. I cannot eat this much brisket. I should have got some of the sauce with it, but. All right. Brisket. I definitely taste the smokiness. Better than our time at Excalibur. Yeah. You would hope so, right? This is more brisket than Excalibur. Oh, good. It's not that random pot roast it's brisket not pot roast. <laughs> Excalibur. Well, I was gonna say, I think it might be a little tough. Mm. I feel like I really have to like, yeah. normally briskets kind of almost like fall apart. That's so what you'd hope for anyway. That's what you hope for. But we're not in Texas. We're not getting like brisket from the source, but for Vegas, it's all right. Not bad. Brittany, feel free to hop into that steamship right there. All right. Um, well, I'll tell you. It looks a little rarer than you would normally have your beef. It's very red. It's not even <laughs> pink. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to like right now. Brittany normally doesn't have her meat on the rarer this is, side. This is why Julia's got the prime rib, because I can't, I just can't with that. All right, I'm going to try this, ba this baby bite. Well, I sure do taste the salt that they threw on it. Oh, is it pretty salty? It doesn't look like it would be. Yeah. You know, I don't like how cooked it is for me, but it actually is pretty juicy. Really? It has a good amount of flavor. It actually has more flavor than the brisket does. It's not bad. Well, I'll hop into my stuff. We're trying to hurry through here because, again, Bacchanal has a 90 minute time limit, but we're going to get into these barbecue train wreck fries. Yeah. It's got some meat on there. It does look like brisket, actually. It does. And we got some barbecue sauce. It looks like a little bit of maybe a sour cream or something like that. Okay. Pretty good. You know, you would think for how, how long food sits out for us folks making like food vlogs, stuff would get really cold and sad, like really fast. This isn't out of order or anything, but it actually, these fries are actually pretty crisp. Oh. A little bit of salt, a oh, little I... bit of the brisket. Oh, those are good. Hold up. Mm. Get you some with, with the brisket, all the sauce, Go get in there. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking oh, about. They're good. They're barbecue brisket fries. Oh, man. I could snack on those fries all day. They're fries. They're sitting out at a buffet. They should be They're sad and soggy. soggy and they still have a crunch after no, all this okay. time. All right. I like those. But but also everyone's favorite, the prime rib. Everyone's favorite. This is a big rare piece of prime rib. I'll tell you, first off, I'm not normally a prime rib person. I'm doing this purely for you guys here on the internet. Uh, but I will have some. Everyone always wants to know about the prime rib at a buffet. When you go to a buffet, you kind of want the fancier stuff, especially when it's $80 to sit down and eat. So yeah. you want good stuff. You're not here for fries. They're good fries. They're good fries. But you, I'm here for fries. You're here for prime rib, you're here for crab legs, you're here for the fancy stuff. I get that. So that's why I'm here. I'm normally a medium well kind of guy. I don't care. This is really nice. Really? It's tender. It's juicy. It's got that nice flavor flowing through there. Yeah, you also got the salt thrown on it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they salt bathed this piece of prime rib. <laughs> There wasn't a whole lot of prime rib left too when like you cut yeah. that off. It, a lot of people were going at it tonight, but here we are, we got it. That's actually really good. All right. I like that flavor. I know I'll, Brittany will not try it. I will it. take your word for that one. No, thank you. But that is very good. If you like prime rib, 
you would hope that the Bacchanal would have good prime rib. It didn't disappoint. Nice. I'm not a prime rib guy. I'm well, not. guess what? We gotta go get more food. You're gonna get into the crab leg section while the, the line's short, Brittany? Yeah, we gotta go. We didn't really get over here earlier because it's been kind of busy. There are some steamed crab legs ready for you, Brittany. Would you like to have a couple? Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, Good. Can I just get a little bit? Thank you. Thank right. you very much. We also have barbecue oysters. There's a lobster bisque. I'll actually take a lobster bisque, Brittany. Mm. Seared ahi tuna. Nice. Can you grab one of those for me too? Okay. Oh yeah, there's some butter for you right there. It's a baby octopus. That's very interesting. Oh, wow. That's that is different. Very interesting. There's also cold seafoods down the way right there. Big claws, right? Jonah crab claws, Cortez yeah. clams, and pan cove mussels. Looks fun. It's a nice shrimp, sweet shrimp cocktail, and there's more cold crab legs, as well as lobster claws down there. Wow, that's kind of fancy, huh? Quesabiria tacos, interesting, okay. There's some churros right here too. Do you want to grab like a churro? Okay. Okay. Maybe we get one of these okay, instead. Let's get one of those. Yeah. You want you want to get one of these guys? Yeah. It's braised beef. Over here to go. Yeah, we put loading it up with some toppings right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm gonna grab the carnitas quesadilla. Oh, that's yeah. good. It's plate number three for both of us. Brittany, what do you got? We have a taco here. Oh, that's a nice. So was it was it uh, beef and cheese? It's very hot. It's right off of the, Yo, the grill there. I mainly just meat and cheese, which I love. It's really hot. That's probably my favorite thing, though. <laughs> really? That good? That's good. Here. Uh, it's really hot. I'll, I'll take a bite of it. And juicy. This is good. Yo, that is actually very tasty. Look at that cheese stretch, too. It was a duck carnitas quesadilla. This is a seared ahi tuna and a lobster bisque. Yes, ooh, it's so liquidy. It's a soup. I know, but it is so jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit of the uh, duck carnitas uh, quesadilla. It looks like it's got black beans and things like that in there. It's not bad. Not bad. I didn't have anything. I think all the other stuff kind of takes away from the flavor of the actual quesadilla. Uh, There's a lot going on there. I mean, quesadillas are pretty simple. Maybe that's just me, because I'm not normally a fan of like too much avocado, but I taste a lot of avocado in that bite. So. I mean, there was a lot of avocado on top. Mm -hmm. Not especially cheesy. So if you're hoping for a lot of cheese More in there, beans. Mm -hmm. it might be your, not by your thing. I'm going to hop into the seared ahi tuna. The tuna is basically a bite. Tuna. Oh, that's pretty good. For the one bite you had? It's one bite. Uh, the tuna has a nice texture, good amount of flavor. There's like a, a lot of like lemon citrus in the rest of the dish right here. So it, it sits there and it almost like kind of marinates the bottom of the mm. piece of tuna. So when you first bite into it, you get that salty savoriness of the tuna and then you get that little bit of like tart almost like a little, little sour kick to kind of bring that all back in. It's interesting. Interesting. So there's no better way to finish that off than by having a shot. I was gonna say a shot. A shot of lobster bisque, no, which what? is a soup. It is a creamy a lobster soup. This is the reason why our server gave us a lot of napkins. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It's uh, not overly salty or anything like that, but it has some good flavor. Lobstery. We don't normally have a lot of lobster. We're not fancy folks like that, but I actually like that. Okay. The flavor is pretty good. I did not mind that. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, I have steamed ones and then cold ones, so okay. I'm gonna try the steam one first. While they're still semi-warm, yeah, right? I gotta go. Yeah, go for it. Bust uh, it open. I don't know how to do this. 
this one. Oh, Crack they like it. cut it right there. Oh. Yeah, they give you like a little. Well, <laughs> the nub of crab. This, this is butter, right? Yeah. I don't know how I can describe that flavor. I really just taste mostly butter. Oh, kind of. All right, can you get a nice clean pull? No, it's stuck in there. Bruh. Any better, any worse? I mean, what? it's tolerable. What does it taste like to you? I don't know, that's my thing. <laughs> Cause it's mainly butter. Oh, I cracked it. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. There Clean break. <laughs> I can move the arm. Oh. Ah, close. Man. Look, that was really good though. That was a nice snap. Look. I may not have ever had crab before, but I used to watch my dad eat crab, so I kind of know how to do it. I feel like crab normally has like a light, like inherent sweetness to it. You you feel any of that? Well, I mean, I kind of, I kind, it makes me kind of think of popcorn in a way. <laughs> Cause it's the because butter. Because of all the butter, and I guess maybe <laughs> the sweetness. Yeah, I could see that. I kind of got it. Here, you want to try some? Oh, uh, sure. What do you think? Is that good crab like? Tastes pretty good to me. So folks in the chat were talking about how they prefer the cold over the steamed ones. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that right now. Oh, 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 oh. 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 No, I had it. Pull on that meat. Oh. Mostly. 99% intact. Cold crab leg. Is it the way to go over steamed? You know, I think I do like it better cold. Really? Do you yeah. feel like a difference in the I flavor? I could actually or taste the sweetness more. Huh? Yeah. Wait. Here, I'll show you. That's interesting. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you could taste the sweetness more. Would I really just go after crab legs myself? Probably not. But I definitely see the appeal of the colder crab leg more. I'm glad you didn't hate it though, Brittany. You know, I don't absolutely hate it. You know though, cold, I think I think cold crab legs are the way to go. Yeah, I would agree actually. Yeah. The steam was okay. I almost feel like steaming it actually took away some of that natural flavor out. Also, I will say as far as like this buffet, um, I feel like the, the steamed ones are just like smaller like chunks. Yeah. Like this one is like actually cut in half here. Mm, I see that. Versus see that. like the cold ones were just a whole leg. We're here at the dessert station at Bacchanal Buffet. Oranges? French macarons? Yes. Ow. Ooh, very hot. <laughs> this is some hot plates. Hot, these are hot plates. <laughs> okay. Yo. What do you got? You want to get a macaron? Macaron. Heck yeah. That there. You got some berries. Can get a crepe? Oh, you can actually make, get your own crepe made. Oh. That's really nice. All right, all Let's right. go around here. There's some cakes down there. Confetti cupcake. A confetti cupcake. cupcake. Oh, Brittany, your favorite. Wait, there's two. There's confetti cupcake, and then there's death by chocolate. I'll take the confetti. All you right. Gra you Take grab yourself a chocolate one. There's also some red velvet too. Oh my gosh. You want to try red velvet? Can you grab me one that of those so red cute. velvets? They look adorable. Look at that. That looks really nice. Thank you very much. Chocolate, Chocolate dipped, dipped apples. Oh, that's oh, fancy. Oh, Wait, a little. brownie? Oh my god! You know, I gotta get everything chocolate. We gotta get everything chocolate related. Oh, I can't use these tongs. There oh, we go. Oh my goodness. Dessert's the best time at the buffet, baby. We got some banana, banana cream pie. pie. We got berry, berry cheesecake. cheesecake. Wow, those are so cute. They're adorable. Look at these desserts. Yo, well, all right, hold up. We got a, a s'mores s'more tart. tart. We got a champagne rose parfait oh. with white chocolate. Ooh, tiramisu. Tiramisu is nice. Mm, creme brulee and a vegan creme strawberry brulee. cake. Oh, that's cute. I can actually, I would take a tiramisu, Brittany, if you don't uh, mind. This one. One of these guys. There's also a gelato oh, station we over got here. Gelato. There's lots of gelato. Some nice flavors right here. There's also some no sugar added ones. Look at that blue birthday cake one. Oh, that's though. very blue with some sprinkles in it. I'm tempted. Great. Oh, Brittany, can you grab that? Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. 
We have even more dessert here, Mexican wedding cookies. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, they look really fun, right? We have egg tarts, oh, egg very tarts. popular in Asian bakeries, a cinnamon roll bread pudding. There's oh, one chocolate cool. lava cake pretty. It was made for you. Actually, a lot more here that we passed by. We'll cover that real quick. I don't know what that is. It doesn't have a sign. Oh no, I don't know what it is. Uh, but it looks cute. It's some kind of berry thing. Oh. No sugar added chocolate mousse. Uh, sunny side up egg, which is technically yogurt with oh, mango. Yogurt. There's an ube chiffon cake. Oh, uh, it's so pretty. I'll take an ube. This one. Yeah, I'll take that one. That's fine. Bloop. And there's also a mango cremo and coconut cream cake. Oh, oh wow. Look at the cute flowers on it. Yeah. There's a lot of nice things here. There's so many nice things. Yeah. But you think we got enough? I think we got I enough. I think we got plenty. Let's head back. We have our dessert plates. It's the end of dinner time, the end. It's closing time here. It's closing time. We gotta get some food in. Brittany, what do you have? I have chocolate. You got so much chocolate. Everything is chocolate. <laughs> it's literally. Right, I'm gonna start with the smallest one chocolate macaroon. Chocolate macaroon. Pretty good. Yeah, those are good. It looks like it has a nice bite behind it. It huh? does. Oh, it got a nice shell on top. But. Chewy in the middle, like a uh, nice chocolate filling inside. It's a nice little like dessert snack. It's pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. That's very nice. See, next up I got a brownie. It looks really dense. Yeah, it does look really dense. Oh, man, did we get the Brittany equivalent of an eye roll right there? That is good. That is a good brownie. Super dense, but it's got a nice chew to it. And oh, it's just like, oh, just full on chocolate. It's so fudgy. Oh. Man, the rest of that plate has a lot of loading oh, up too. Oh man, I'm sad I just ate that. Hop on into the rest of it. Go, go, go. We got a cupcake. All right, we're just gonna. You gotta pull uh, that out. It's really baked in here. Oh, there you go. Okay, that looks pretty good when you, you spin that good. up. Yo, that's good too. That's a good cupcake. That's good. It's so chocolatey. Not like light chocolate or anything like that. It's chocolate and then it's chocolate. And then the frosting is nice and light too, which helps because the cake's like, not necessarily denser, but fuller. I don't know what the word would be, but. There's been some good chocolate. chocolate desserts, I'm telling you. <laughs> The last lava cake. This was the very last one. So I'm gonna break it open. Ooh, it actually looks oh, really melty it's in super there. Melty. I'm sad you guys didn't get to see that, but you could you could probably see it in the bowl right here real quick. <laughs> That's that. actually very lava for being the last cake. That pretty good. Not as chocolatey. It's like a level below on the chocolate scale. Huh. But there's so much like lava filling. There's so much lava filling on the inside. It's like a hot pudding, I guess. It's got a good amount of sweetness. It's not overly sweet no. though. I was expecting that that one to be really, really sweet and it wasn't. That was good though. Mm -hmm. Next up, I got a s'mores tart. It's really cute. I don't want to break it. Bad. Yeah. I think that's actually the lightest of the chocolate flavor. Hmm. I mean, it's s'mores. So... Yeah, it's s'mores, so it's not supposed to be a lot of chocolate, but. But it seems all right, though. The marshmallow tastes good. It's not bad. And last, but certainly not least, chocolate ice cream time. Heck or yeah. gelato, I should say. Pretty good. It's, um, I will say, it's a little more on the icier side. But after having all those things that are like really chocolatey, yeah. this is lighter on the chocolate scale. Understandable. But still quite good. The chocolate plate overall gets a thumbs up, Brittany? Oh, yes. Heck yeah. It's very hard, <laughs> it's very hard for me to find some really good chocolate desserts. She real and picky about man, that. Man, these are some pretty good chocolate dessert. Well, on the my plate, I've got not as much chocolate stuff. I've got a red velvet, velvet, red velvet cake, tiramisu, an ube 
a little chiffon cake, a confetti cake, and some blue birthday ice cream slash gelato. I'm gonna dig right into it. I'm just gonna go in a little circle right yeah. here. I'm gonna go into this red velvet cake. I'll take a nice good- It's so cute with a little flower on top. The texture and the crumb looks good. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Slightly dry for my liking, yeah. but the flavor is good. It, it's kind of light. It's red velvet, so it's not the strongest flavor yeah, around. I can see that. It's also very well presented too. It is. I like the flower on mm -hmm. top, which I'm sure is also an edible flower. I hope so. <laughs> We also have the tiramisu. I'm gonna take a nice big bite of that. That looks good. Oh, I went deep in there, so I got a lot of the coffee espresso oh, flavor. At the bottom? Yeah, there's a lot of it. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't think you guys can see it too good. I can but see underneath it all. Oh. They didn't skip on that. If you like that coffee flavor of tiramisu, you will like it. If you don't, you might not care as much. Oh. A fairly smooth like texture through okay. the tiramisu. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Here's the ube chiffon cake, which is really cute. It's also it's a very cute little pretty. bowl. I like that. Absolutely. So I'm gonna take a big bite of that as well. Cute. Very oh, soft. Like... Yeah. So there's actually a cake cake in the inside. Oh, it's almost okay. like a mousse on the top. Mousse on top, and then there's like actual cake underneath. It's like a surprise. Not as sweet as I expected for an ube oh. cake. If you don't know what ube is, it's like purple yam. Um, pretty common to be used in Filipino desserts. It's cool to see stuff like that here yeah. at a buffet in Vegas. Pretty good. That's really pretty cool. good. It's nice that it, it's it's got a smooth, creamy texture to it. Not overly rich. You don't want that sugary sweetness to kind of overwhelm the the flavor of the actual ube. Not bad. Okay. Mm. Cupcake time. Confetti cupcake though. You might have to just dig into it like I did. Uh, um, I'm gonna rip slightly. Oh, okay, you got it. Ah. <laughs> Bite it. Ah. <laughs> Surprisingly not as sweet as you would think. Oh. The actual cake itself doesn't have a lot going on inside there. Oh. It, it's more of a normal like kind of white cake. Most of the confetti is the top. Well, that's not confetti cake. I'm a little disappointed by that. That's a lie. <laughs> I was expecting sprinkles in the actual cake and there's yeah, nothing confetti, in there. A confetti cake has sprinkles inside the batter. It's a little behind some of the other desserts on the plate, but what are you gonna do? It's not terrible, yeah. but it's not what I expected. Yeah. It's gelato time. You're gonna get into this blue birthday gelato, only slightly melty. That's okay. There was the sweetness I was missing ah. on the cupcake. Yep. All right, not too bad. Some nice sprinkles in there. Does it make your whole mouth blue? <laughs> oh my gosh, your tongue is actually blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <just> sugar. <laughs> if I you mean, want to know what the flavor is, it's, it's birthday cake ice cream. <laughs> Overall though, the dessert station, Pretty tasty, huh? Uh, yeah. A uh, lot of good wins on there. I mean, again, I mean, there's lots of other desserts and I'm sure a lot of them are great, yeah. but I love chocolate I and do. it's very hard to find some really nice chocolate desserts and these are really good. Yeah. I want to go get another brownie real quick <laughs> before we leave. Go, go, go for it. While they're still like, oh, come on. She's gonna go. You want anything else? Can you, can you grab me like a taco or something or in the same, you know, the same okay. section? <laughs> well, that's it for our time here at Bacchanal. Our time is very limited. It's actually around closing time. It is. But there's still plenty of people having some food. Luckily, they're not booting anyone out, just yet, no. us included. But overall, Brittany, how did you feel about Bacchanal? It's really good. I mean, I think my favorite part about Bacchanal is that there's just so many different varieties of foods. There is a lot there's of food. There's so many different things. Holy moly. There's something for everybody here. Yes. I'd like to add in too, it's not just that there's a lot of food, but the quality is pretty good overall. Yeah, it's good quality food. What were some of your favorite foods tonight? The taco. 
The taco was nice. <laughs> As someone who doesn't like prime rib, that prime rib, that cut of prime rib was actually very tasty. And the desserts, of course, were I mean, honestly... I all the desserts, man. I guess the big thing about Bacchanal is the price. You've got to pay to play. It is Vegas. Yeah. It's a huge buffet with a lot of things. They've got multiple carving stations. They've got tons of seafood. They had lobster claws. Yeah. A surprising. A fantastic dessert station. And the wait staff, our server was oh, yeah. amazing. This has been great. They, they were really good at taking care of everything, keeping everything clean. Just making sure we're good, mm -hmm. and taking out plates when we're done. Yeah. And... He, he, he knows that we've been filming all this and he's been really patient with us. He didn't want to interrupt anything. We yeah. told him, it's totally okay, you do what you got to do. <laughs> he's here doing his job, yeah. you know, and he's, he's doing a great job yeah. at that. So props sure. to the staff here at Bacchanal. But I mean, if you can afford it, it's fantastic. If you don't have that in the budget, I mean, it might be nice to at least try once. I would, I would say at least try Bacchanal once. Enough about what we're talking about. What do you guys think about Bacchanal Buffet here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas? Yeah. Comment below and let us know. And thank you guys for watching our little review video yeah, have, here. Have any of you guys been to Bacchanal? Did you feel it was worth the hype? And if you <laughs> haven't been to Bacchanal and you watched this video, would you go to Bacchanal after watching this video? Thanks for watching, guys. We are the Crane Couple. Don't forget to like, comment, and give us your thoughts about Bacchanal Buffet here at Caesars Palace. Yeah. And one more thing, you may not realize that this was all live streamed. It's yes. All live. Live streamed and filmed for you guys here late, at, late on a Tuesday night on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash the Crane Couple. It was amazing. It was really hard to stream this. So please feel free to follow us on Twitch and see more of our adventures live. Yeah. It's a good time. But for now, have a wonderful night. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.